Hi Poké fans, here is a new video on my Poké news series and today we are going to be checking out the new icons that are available on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games. So you can definitely go ahead and create your own icon. In order to see the new icons, all you have to do is click on the Nintendo Online Option app and you will be able to find them either under Home or in Missions and Rewards. So let me make my way to Home screen where you'll be able to see all of the new icons that are available for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Sadly, this is the final wave. There were at least three waves before this. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make a video on them. But this one is actually going to be available until December 25th. So if you are interested in any of these frames or characters, you can go ahead and get them for 10 platinum coins each. Which is pretty nice. Personally, I am going to get some of these character icons. They are quite unique and they won't be available after December 25th. So if you like any of them, you can go ahead and get them as well. Not only the icons, the background and the frames are pretty cool. So let me quickly buy the ones I really like and I'll show you guys how to create an icon as well. As usual, to create your icon, you do have to go to your profile and you will have an option to create a new icon. In this case, I was able to select the game as Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Here are some of the icons that the app will give you pre-selected. But if you don't like it, you can select and create your own by, I guess, selecting the frame that you like. And in my case, I'll go ahead with this frame and a background character as Koraidon because we are playing Pokemon Scarlet after all. Unfortunately, if you do select the character, apparently you can't apply the background. So that's fine. I think this looks pretty amazing and this is going to be my new icon by the way. You guys can go ahead and try different icons as well. But that is not the only other news I have. Let me make my way to Pokemon Scarlet and open up my game with the new icon which looks so cool. There are a couple of Terror Raid events that are happening currently. You might know the Charizard Terror Raid is coming back. But other than that, there are two other ones that are available. One is Flojus and the other one is Mimikyu. So if you are interested in getting these Pokemon, all you have to do is connect your game to the internet. And you'll either be able to battle them offline or if you want to, you know, battle them with your friends, you can go ahead to the Poke Portal and go to the Terror Raid section. That's where you'll be able to battle online as well. In my case, since my game is already connected to the internet, I'll be able to go ahead and find these Terror Raids. As you can see, these Terror Raids will be having a special sparkle effect. So you'll be able to easily identify them than the normal terror rates. For now, I did find one. So let me make my way there. It's quite close to where I am. And I think I can glide down over there. To be honest, I really like the glide feature in this game and I really enjoy it. We just did get it and it's so easier to travel to different places using this as well. Right here, I was able to find a Terror Raid battle for Flojus, so let's go ahead and challenge it. It is gonna be at 4 star, so not that easy if you have a lower level Pokemon. But if you are in the post game or in the late stages of the game, you'll be easily able to defeat it and catch it as well. In my case, I went with my Cloud Sire since it does have Earthquake. I think it should help a lot since Flojus is having the electric terror type. You can also find Flojus in different terror types as well. So if you are trying to find a specific one, I would definitely uh, recommend going to the portal and terror raid battles right there. Cause at once you'll be able to find multiple of them and you can select the one which you like. But of course, if you are like me and just are collecting one Pokemon from each Terror Raid event, then I think the newer one is much better. Alright, it seems like we are definitely having an easy time with the Slogis. And right here, I did go ahead and crystallize my Cloud Sire. It does have a ground terror type and should help taking down the Slogis pretty easily. Even though I am such a high level, for some reason I'm not able to do too much of a damage. My 
might be because my attack stat is lowered right here and although i do have to say the other pokemons are definitely helping me a lot as well if you are playing online i think you have a better chance in making a better team to take down the pokemon but since i am playing kind of offline i'm just having to deal with the pokemons i do get I think it's pretty cool. We are almost able to take it down. I'll go ahead and cast this Clojus as well. If you do have a Archer Ball or a Great Ball, both of them works for this. So you can just go ahead and catch it. There we go. We have broken its transformation. And this time I'll go ahead with the Archer Ball. Let's see if we can catch it. I also want to go ahead and check out if I can find a Terry Den for Mimikyu which is the other Pokemon for whom the event is still available. These events are going to be till December 18th the same as the Charizard event and if you are really interested in collecting all of these Pokemons I would definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and collect it as soon as possible. There we go I did find another Terry Den. So let me see if I can actually go to it. At this point I'm hoping it's the Mimikyu Terrain Den. If not, probably we do have to go ahead and find it once more. And whoops, I went the wrong direction. So let me make my way back. But as you can see, it is so easy now that I'm able to actually glide and climb. Otherwise, it is a bit difficult to travel. But lucky enough, we did find a Mimikyu Den. So I should be able to have a easier time with this. This Mimikyu is actually having Dragon Terrorite which is pretty nice. And since I do have Tinkerton in my team, I am able to go ahead and challenge it. Once again, I am going ahead with the offline version of the battles. And if you want to find a specific Terrorite, you can definitely go online to Poke Portal and try seeing if you can find a different Terrorite Mimikyu over there in the Terrorite battles. For me, I think this is pretty fine and definitely it seems I'm having a way better time right here other than the floaters that we did battle before. Pretty cool. Once again, I think they will be around 4 star to 5 star so they're gonna be pretty strong. But at this point where most of the people are in the later stages of their game, I think you guys should be able to have an easy time against it. Currently the Charizard event is happening and if you guys are already in the post game you can go ahead and try to get it. If you have got the Charizard in the event during December 1st to 4th, I don't think you can get another one. Um, it's only for the newer players this time and it will end at December 18th so go ahead and try to get it if you have your post game. Personally I don't have my game in post game yet but pretty soon I will try to complete my game and Let's see if I can upload another video for that as well. But anyhow, we have almost defeated Mimikyu right here. And I think this is the last turn. Yep, we have defeated its transformation. And let me try using another Archer Ball to catch it as well. I'm hoping we can catch it. If not, I will have to search another one. But yes, we have caught the Mimikyu as well. There we have it guys, these are the current things that are happening for Pokemon. And if there is anything new that is going to come up pretty soon, I'll go ahead and make a video on that as well. So thank you all for watching, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like my video. And if you'd like to support me more, check out the links in my description. Anyway, see you guys next time.